Beyond the Front Line is a, a theatre installation uh, about soldiers and uh, about what they do for us and how they do it. Um, and the audience move through a number of a number of environments. Obviously, we're sat in front of a big truck at the minute. There's a tent around the corner and another one here. And uh, it's about moving the audience um, through an experience. So they perhaps. Uh, the hope is that they, they come to greater understand the role of a soldier in, in, in our society. No, so, yeah, but so these ones, yeah. do we just put them through like that's that? That's right, that's fine, that's better. Just so that if it's blowy, that's like secure. That. Yeah? Okay. Individuals have been incredibly helpful. Uh, there's been a number of in, incredibly lovely and generous people who have given their time and their expertise to help us bring this together, because obviously we work in theatre and not the army. So for us, even just... Doing up the backs of these lorries uh, was difficult for us. So we've had a number of soldiers, uh, both serving and retired, who've come in and taught us the secret ways of how to do the boots up properly. And we try to make our experiences immersive. So we try to make sure that the audience is surrounded on all sides and that, that it's not just an intellectual exercise, but also one that they can feel and one that they can smell and hear and feel like they're part of a world. The best compliment we ever had was someone said it was like being put into the middle of a film. Um, and that was... Uh, that's, that's the aim. At the University of Salford, students are in it. Uh, they play uh, soldiers and civilians and nurses, and they've been with us now for, uh, for a week, and so they've been rehearsed hard and, uh, and for very long hours, so I'm hoping that they've, uh, they've just started to understand exactly what it is to have a job in theatre. You're all looking good. You all know what you do. You're all making the show better. One of our members is called Heather Fennerty, and she's a, she's a composer and uh, she's written a new requiem in five parts. It's the Latin mass that's sung um, for the dead, and she's written a new one, and it's been sung by a choir that's uh, been pre-recorded, but the soloist, the sopranist, is live. And so hopefully uh, people will enjoy that, and it will move them to think further. I think if people like theatre, then there's a lot here to see in terms of what we're attempting to do and how we do it in a slightly different way, but our aim with the show is always to play to... It's played to people who might not like theatre. One of the benefits of being outside, one of the benefits of doing things in a different way is that people who might think that theatre wasn't usually for them might see this and go, I'll give that a crack, it looks, it looks interesting. So that's the aim.